Welcome to Reflecting Light. This podcast is about feeling the world with light by exploring myth, ancient texts, scripture, great works of world literature, and the works of artists, past and present, for those who have eyes to see and ears to hear. And now, here is your host, Mandy Green. Hello and welcome to Reflecting Light. It's always a pleasure to be with you. Today's message is for those of us who are feeling, I wouldn't even say up to our eyeballs, for all of us who are feeling completely submerged. I'm right in the middle of finals week and holy moly, drowning. And yet, as I slowly, one day at a time and many, many hours at the library, slowly push back against all of that pressure, I'm starting to see the light. Starting to feel what Thomas McConkie refers to as the threshold guardians. And I believe it's a more ancient idea, but that anytime you're about to level up, you're going to get a lot of pressure pushing down on you. Now, this may seem like a negative thing, but The point of leveling up is to see if you have what it takes to really push through, to go beyond that space. And I've talked about it and I've done it in less intense settings, (laughs) but sometimes those settings are incredibly intense. And yet as I'm getting there, and it really is honestly, minutes at a time, hours at a time, I've learned to go to the library so I can just focus for many hours. Yes, my tailbone, which is previously broken, is re-experiencing that lovely joy. But the fact is, I really can start to feel strengthened. I really can start to feel heaven as part of that pressure. Not all pressure comes from negative sources. Not all pressure is negative. In fact, any type of pressure is creating the resistance we need to grow. And so if you are feeling pressure, my friends, the invitation is there to grow. And I'll admit I'm a total baby with growth. I think I like growth until the opportunity presents itself. And then it's like, I know, can we rescind that request? But The fact is we really are here to grow. And as we develop those muscles in whatever capacity heaven is asking us to develop them, we do feel strengthened. We do feel stronger. We do feel more equipped to come at life again with a new strength and a new set of lenses and greater capacity. And capacity is only built by going through. The road to heaven always leads through hell. And so I'm with you here today on this rainy November day. By the way, this has been the most glorious fall I can recall in decades. God has been good to us this fall in Utah. And so If you can take a small moment to step outside to appreciate a cloudy sky or the colorful leaves or wherever you are, just take a minute and stop and breathe the breath of life, right? Our bodies breathe without us having to think about it. But when we take a deep breath, clear from the gut, and really consciously take in life and expel what's inside, it does make a difference. So for today, I'd like to introduce you to a passage from Steve Garnas Holmes from his website, Unfolding Light. Now, in Divinity School, we have a class called Spiritual Practice. And in spiritual practice, we learn to apply these different spiritual practices that are building blocks to sustaining spiritual life. As you can well guess, that spiritual life doesn't just come to us. It requires effort. And so we look at these different contemplative or active practices 
And one is called Lectio Divina. Now, Lectio Divina is a spiritual practice where you would read a text over and over out loud. I like it so much better when someone reads it to me because I'm really a kindergartner at heart. I am 100% a kindergartner, turn off the lights, lay on my rug after we had our milk and cookies. I mean, those were the days, weren't they? It was just a place to feel safe. I'm not even sure in today's world we have kids just sit down, turn off the lights after recess, lay your head on the desk, lay your head on your couch, wherever you are, if you're driving, just take a breath. Maybe turn on your seat warmer if you have one. But Lectio is this process of of having a text read to you over and over. And then in each reading, there's an invitation to something new. Now, I don't want to do the full process of Lectio Divina, but I'm going to add a recording in the show notes of this podcast with this particular reading. And what I recommend is I will read it. And because I'm so stressed, actually, I'm just going to read the text one time on the download. But what I recommend is that you put it on repeat. On your phone, you can just repeat something. And I recommend repeating it five times. So just to lay it all out for you, let's go through the process of Lectio Divina. Typically, it's read five times. The first time, you're invited to just enjoy. Just enjoy the text. The second time it's read, the invitation is to see what word pops out to you. Now, in this process, you're in a prayerful state. You're, you're thinking, you're feeling, however that looks. It doesn't have to be eyes shut, arms folded, but you're, your mind is centered on the text, and you're inviting heaven to invite you in through this text. So if a word pops out, take note of it. See what comes up with it. On the third reading, you're invited to look for a phrase or a line that really sticks out to you. The fourth time through, you're invited to listen for an invitation from heaven. Just pay attention. And lastly, you are invited to just rest in the passage. Now, because I'm so swamped on time, The download will just be one reading through the passage, but on iPhones and every device we listen to music on, you can push repeat. So just repeat it as many times as you would like. And let this help you in your contemplation. This particular text is called Come Away. And it's based on the scripture, Mark 6, 31. He said to them, come away to a deserted place all by yourselves and rest a while. Jesus went away often. Jesus required rest in his ministry often. He left to go pray often. So here is the invitation to rest, to be to see Lectio Divina in whatever way works for you in this moment and just take one of those deep, deep breaths, huge exhales as we gear up for an amazing, amazing end of 2023. Come away. The world will turn without you. Let go of the have to, the should the ought. Notice what you set down, the weight of expectations, the feeling of proving yourself to yourself. Notice how you feel unburdened, at peace, anxious, free, 
afraid, waiting for the gavel to drop. Notice. What if it's okay? It's okay. Practice the Sabbath exercise, this holy desertion, so that you may take it with you into the crowd. You honor what is in your hands only if you hold it lightly. Come away to the place of solitude where you already are waiting for you. Again, that's from Steve Goddardness Holmes and his website, Unfolding Light. My friends, these are inspired words. This is an inspired invitation to Shabbat, to rest, to let go, to drop the weight and be in sacred time and space, even just for a moment, come away. That is the message for this week. You've got this. I believe in you. Incidentally, probably one of the greatest moments of my year, I was driving down Mountain View Corridor and all, I had just gotten back from my week at school and all of the sunflowers were just blooming like crazy. It was, the top was off the Jeep. It was the most glorious morning. And I was driving to yoga, which is the only thing that has kept me sane. And there was a gentleman running down the corridor, holding up a poster board that said, I believe in you. That was amazing that he would take his fitness practice and use it to bless everybody who drove down that road. I saw it. It changed my life. It changed my day, changed my whole trajectory. And I'm so grateful for this stranger down the road who shared that message of belief. And may I pay it forward to you and say, I believe in you. You've got this. You can do it. That pressure, you can take it. And when you get mad enough or impatient enough with it, break on through to the other side. Sending you all so much love and light. Thank you for joining us for Reflecting Light with Mandy Green. If you enjoy this podcast, please leave a good rating and share it with your friends. And remember, your light makes the world a brighter place. Share it.